You've always wanted to create a perfect list of the symbols you care about most and then track them with ease on the TradingView platform. And of course, that is all possible using the watch list feature right up here at the top right of the chart. You can see with a click, we close it. With another click, we open it. Now we've got this really neat watch list set up specifically for us. We'll share a link to this watch list in the description below as well so that you can also have access to these watch lists that we're talking about. Of course, we made these watch lists ourselves, but you also may find this rather interesting. You can see here we've got some Argentina stocks. There's been a lot of movement lately in South America. We've got a general markets watch list that we're on now, key U.S. fundamentals, indices. We've got some webhooks set up. The point being, though, is you can do this too once you have a TradingView account and your plan is activated. This drop down button up here at the top is how you can create lists. That's right. You can have more than one list. And what's really important is you can very quickly jump from list to list just by clicking as you're seeing here. Now, the key thing that we do want to explain in this video though, before we dive into watch list basics, are some of the new features since we last made a watch list video. In fact, the three dots up here at the top right will show you something that we've recently added called table view. So if you check table view, you now have access to custom columns that you can add to your watch list. Well, why does that matter and why does table view being turned off matter? Well, if you're someone who just wants a watch list, all you want to see is your symbol name, the perhaps the logo, we'll show you how to turn that off, and the latest price, you can do that. And you can do that by turning on and off table view. Now, table view might be more of an advanced customization for some of you, but once you have your watch list open, you can customize also the columns that you want to show being that you have table view toggled on. So hopefully you're following along here. What you have is a watch list on TradingView and you've got multiple ways to display that watch list and you can create multiple watch lists. So we've shown you the basics now. You know how to create multiple watch lists and where to access them. You also know how you can create fully customized views for yourself depending on if you turn table view on or off. Now we have table view on right now, and you can see when we turn it on, we get this customized columns to appear. This means that we can add custom columns that matter to us. And actually for this reason, the market's open, so let's turn off extended hours. Let's also just look at percentage change and let's see the last price and volume. So we've got those columns added, and if you look closely, you can see our watch list now is neatly sorted. Now, what's so great about this is that you can now sort your watch list by specific moves. So let's say you create this big, wonderful watch list, just as we have here, but now you wanna know what's performing the best and what's performing the worst within your watch list you can see how easy that is. Click to sort. So we can sort by any of the columns that we have added. Remember, to add columns, just make sure table view is on. Select the columns that you want. So you can see here it says last. We're going to uncheck last and it's gone. But we do want last in this example. We just want to make sure you know exactly how this works so that you can take full advantage of these tools. Well, why does this matter? Well, if you have a watch list of all of your favorite symbols, there will come a time where you're going to want to see what symbols in my watch list are performing best and what symbols are performing worst. And of course, you can do that by sorting these columns. Or maybe you're looking for trading liquidity. Well, in that case, you can sort by volume to see what the most active symbols in your watch list are. Tesla has traded over 136 million shares today. That is an enormous amount of volume. That's a very interesting data point for your watch list if that's something that you're looking into. Now, pay close attention to the sections that we have up here. This is one of the more powerful features that you can use in your watch list to create perfectly organized watch lists. A section is essentially its own little part of the watch list that you can add to make highly custom sections within your watch list. This says U.S. equities, and we have equities here. Well, we do have the VIX here, but we can click and hold our mouse down and drag this down to an area whereby it might make more sense to have it. 
But actually, wait a second, the VIX, after all, is a measure of U.S. equities, so it's doing just fine here. But now you do know if you ever want to move a symbol around, it's as easy as clicking and holding to drag that symbol. So we've got these sections. We know we can easily move symbols around such sections. We can collapse them. And of course, if you ever wanted to make a new section, because you may not have a section like this, once again, the three dots here at the top right, add section. Now you can see we've got section one down here. And what we could do is we could call it anything we want just by right clicking and then selecting rename. Let's call this test section, but let's, there we go test section and now it's been added and we can very easily add symbols as needed just by dragging it into that specific section now you may see here we're doing a little bit of housekeeping because some of these symbols have actually managed to get around to uh, incorrect sections so we're just dragging them back into their preferred section and now we've done this great cleanup reorganized our list and why don't we go down here and actually delete this section there's an x here it's been deleted so just by watching this video you are gaining the basics of the watch list and all of the new features available to you a few more new things that you're going to want to take note of with your watch list are the symbol display features this means you can display the logo if needed you can show the ticker but you can also show the description sometimes for many new traders and investors out there you may not know the exact name of the symbol that's in your watch list and so having the description selected will give you a full title so that you know exactly what you're looking at now you may notice once again that you know, there's something we want to customize, which is we want to see more of the title. These are rather long titles. Well, you, you can see here, all of the columns can be customized to your needs. So depending on your screen size or what you want to show more of or less of, you can click and drag these columns to either side to adjust their width. So by now you're understanding all of the power here on your watch list. And we haven't even shown you yet one of the coolest parts, which is once you create a custom watch list, look how easy it is to click through symbols and the chart just instantly updates. And if we have drawings just like this, check it out, we've got drawings here. Those drawings will still appear on your watch list. And so you can click through to see everything that's going on. So this is really one of the more interesting and dynamic ways to keep track of all the symbols you care about, to sort them, to follow along, and to really have a basic understanding of what you want to track in markets just by neatly organizing them in a similar way like this. Now, there are a few more things we do need to highlight here. You may notice that there are these little, uh, you know, it's a little icon with a pen and a piece of paper. See that? Well, what could that be? These are notes. That's right. You can leave custom notes about every symbol. So for example, if you've been following Net Netflix very closely, well, you can open up notes and look at this. We've got some notes. We left a note in August 21st of 2023. We actually made several different notes. The point being is that this note was designed for us to track our thoughts about the symbol. These are just example notes. There's nothing here for you to read at the moment, but how cool is it that if you do actually spend time keeping notes about various symbols, you can always come back and check your progress. So in this example, we've got some notes from March 25th, 2022 about Apple. Hey, this is our first note about Apple. And we've got notes going all the way down. Here's April 6, 2022 as well. You can do this as well, just as you need to. And if you need to add a note, it's really all about having the symbol selected. And actually, let's select an equity for this example without a note. So why don't we go ahead and pick Birkenstock? So we've got Birkenstock selected here. And now you're going to notice that in your watch list, whenever you have a symbol selected, there's a window and this is the details window. So you have your watch list, which you can neatly organize. You can select any symbol and the chart will update, but you've also got this handy detail window. You can keep it at the very bottom so it takes up no space or you can have it take up half the screen so you can see additional details. Now, if you build a view like this, you have the chart, you have your watch list and your key details. 
Birkenstock Holdings, NYSE, everything you want to know about your symbol, all of the details right here, the days range, the 52-week range. You'll even see some news. This means you can literally see some of the most recent news about that symbol right here on the chart. You've got ideas. So this means you can actually read through other ideas that have been published. There's surprisingly been none purchased about Birkenstock. But if we go to the SPY and click ideas, You'll see here, we've got some ideas published. We've also got mines. This is another place where traders and investors can chat. 13 minutes ago, someone is charting this channel in real time. Two hours ago, how cool is that? You can see this real time chatter about these symbols on your watch list. So you're going to want to make sure you access mines when you want to see what other people are saying about these symbols on your watch list. And you can add notes. So that takes us all the way back to why we got here in the first place this little note icon. You can click add note. And now we can write this is our note for the SPY ETF. S and S and P 500 S and P 500. Now we click add and our note has been added just like that. We want to keep your attention on this details page because you can scroll down to get stats on stats on stats. That's right. Key stats like volume, average volume. This is an ETF. So you'll see assets under management. If we have Netflix selected and scroll down, you'll see other key stats related to this specific symbol market cap, price to earnings ratio, basic EPS, the share float, all of these excellent stats, some earnings graphics, keep going down. That's a really important thing. As you start to use this, de this details menu, just keep scrolling. There is information here for you to learn more about your favorite symbols and follow them over time because you have income statement, balance sheet, cash flow all right here on a handy visual that once again you can access right from this menu and we're not done let's keep scrolling down we've got performance how has this symbol performed over one week one month three months six months year to date one year this is especially helpful if you're trying to understand how your symbol in your watch list has performed over followed and popular time frames and we're not even done yet because the data and the details continue as we scroll down. Check out technicals. You can see what all of the technical ratings are saying about the symbol you have selected in your watch list. Remember, you can also click any of these buttons in the details menu to get a beautiful view exactly of that specific data point. In this example, we click more technicals. Now we can see We've got Netflix selected on our watch list. We've clicked more technicals. Now we've got a summary of Netflix over all technical indicators, and we can change the time frame as needed as well. How cool is that? You see it move in real time. So we've got a one month technical view of Netflix. We've got oscillators, moving averages. We've got exact details about these technical levels, and we've also got pivots. So this data is all available, once again, right from your watch list. And keep scrolling down because you've also got analyst ratings. This is only available for equities because there are analysts across markets and Wall Street who are analyzing these symbols. And you can see what the analysts are saying about that symbol. So once again, this happens when you scroll down. You've got your technical rating and your analyst rating. You can click see forecast and now get some data about all of these analyst ratings. How many people said it's a strong buy? 24 and only two said it's a strong sell. Well, seeing that Netflix is up 60% year to date, it looks like there were 24 analysts who got this quite right. And naturally, if you are investing or trading in stocks, it's always good to keep an eye on the fundamental picture. And you can also access rich financial visuals like this, such as EPS estimates, revenue estimates, and you can even create such visuals yourself by selecting the specific financial light item, line item that you want to show on this visual. So surprise would essentially mean if that analyst was right or wrong about the actual results. It's comparing the actual reported results versus the analyst estimated results. More importantly, though, this is just an example of what is possible in the details menu. Last but not least, you have some basic profile information about that symbol. So now we've really shown you the basics of the watch list and all of the new features to come to it. 
And the most interesting thing is we still haven't even shown you one of the most important aspects, which is your lists are shareable. So if you have this toggled on and click copy link, you can now share your watch list with friends, colleagues, across social media, wherever you need. And this gives people direct access to the symbols that you're following. They can even add this watch list to their watch list and they can create an exact layout like this. So now they are following along and learning more about your watch list and how you set things up. So if someone needs a quick start to get started with their watch list, go ahead, be a great colleague and copy the link and share it with them. So we hope that this video gave you a wonderful breakdown of the watch list all of the tools available to you and that you also now know how to get started. We didn't fully cover the aspect of adding symbols, but that's just because it's really as easy as clicking the plus icon and adding symbols to your watch list just from the add symbol menu that we have open here. Most of you already know that, so we saved that for the very end. Nevertheless, this is your new 2023 watch list introduction, and we'll be making another in 2024. Please share all of your questions and comments below so that we can answer them in future videos. Thanks for watching.